What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Home of the auto shop life. And uh, who says I only buy snap-on tools? We've got a Lyle tool haul. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys. So I get a lot of comments on uh, you know, I only buy snap-on tools. It, you know, most of you guys that follow the channel obviously know that's, that's not true. You, I buy all, any tools that work, any tools that get the job done, no matter the brand. I, obviously, I like when the tool is good quality. I like when the tool has a good warranty, everything else. Most of you guys know the drill out there, but, you know, if I only own snap-on tools, I, some jobs I just wouldn't be able to get done, you know, and it is what it is. I, I, snap-on is a good tool brand. And I've said it before, I only invest into them because the resale value on Snap-on Tools is probably better than some other brands. But outside of that, I have no preference. I'll use whatever, I, you know, you guys got to think, my Harbor Freight tools, my Craftsman tools, you know, what, whatever other tools I had bought me the Snap-on Tools. So obviously I use all, all kinds of tools. You know, my cart, my service cart's loaded with nothing on the top is, is snap-on you know I got craftsman in there I got gear wrench in there I got you know any other tool brand but getting to this tool haul video I got a Lyle pickup and uh, you guys know how I, feel. I, I love Lyle it, it's just a great tool company you know the innovation on some of them a couple of them I picked up are fairly new tools from Lyle uh, probably not going to go through all of them because who wants to sit through a half hour video but we are going to check out a couple of the ones that uh, I think is cool I'll leave part numbers down in the description also you guys got any favorite Lyle tool leave the part numbers down in the description maybe for other people to check out there's probably tools that Lyle that I don't even know about you know especially not just their new tools but a lot of their older tools if you guys are still working on some of these older vehicles and things like that but let's get into it all right guys so not too much to say about some of these tools because they're not open yet you know some of this stuff I've used in the past some of this stuff I've seen used you know but clearly you know none of these tools I've used so you know longevity how they work things like things like that I don't really know um, but you know we picked up a few these are a couple tools I picked up you know in the last maybe four months you know maybe getting it on deals you know searching on Instagram and you get that you know advertisement that you see um sorry about that just kicked the camera guys but we'll get into some of them one a pretty cool one i thought is adapt a cap i don't know if you guys seen it it's a part number on this one this one i have used just to kind of check out what it's all about but you know you pretty much put it on the back of a, a core, you know a bottle whether it's oil diff fluid whatever you're using it for you connect a couple pipes this is what it comes with kind of empty this out I think I used it for trans. It, it works. It works pretty well. But they have these little, you know, rubber grommets that you could snap onto a bottle, and then you know you just add the caps to it, and you could connect these caps together on any angle you'd like. You know, they got ones like this. I did grab a bottle to show you guys kind of how it works. You know, you basically just crack the bottle open. You'll shove this in there, and then you could add the pipe to it. You know, whatever one you're using. You'll probably want to put it on like this. that you add this to the bottom which one is it kind of connect that to it so it drops down to the bottom of the bottle or if you're tipping it you know you wouldn't have to use this but when you put this in there it could go down so you could just squeeze it you know the fluid goes up you could add this on there and then pretty much just drop it in the bottle it makes a seal and then you could squeeze the fluid out you can see I'm squeezing the bottle you see the fluid come out so if you're getting into those diffs you know you could put the adapter on there um, and get it in there you know you could even add them if you want like that you know however you got to do it whatever you got to do to get the fluid in the car I thought it was pretty cool uh, I have yet to use the bigger ones because uh, obviously I have other ways of you know putting fluid evacuating fluid and adding fluid to a car but you know nice little option cheap little option from Lyle uh, I can't rem remember what this is what this cost but like I said the part number it wasn't much it wasn't much we'll see we'll see if this lasts 
and uh, you know if it spills the, the two times two or three times I did use it you know it does drip a little bit you got to make sure the seal is on there pretty good you know you got a nice tight seal on it but I thought this was a pretty cool pickup through Lyle and then that's all the adapters it comes with two three four five six parts and they all got different angles and thicknesses and things like that this one would be for the bigger bottles you know and then all your angles this you could use to adapt other ones you know connect other ones to it all that for different angles so Pretty so cool. just another quick one I picked up you know belt tool I have a few of these I got this one on a really good deal part number on that one five nine zero 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 just the ratcheting style ones different cars you know take for different tools and this one you know whether I use it here at the shop or I bring it home and use it for the house I got it pretty cheap pretty standard stuff nothing fancy um, one that I did think was pretty cool was uh, this Scotch-Brite one it's got uh, you know extra Scotch-Brites but it's velcro you know for cleaning those gaskets and all that stuff I thought this one was pretty cool I've never seen it I don't know if you guys out there are using it you can buy the reloads for it uh, I'm not sure if they come with different grits and all that maybe like the green one or uh, the yellow one and all that stuff different grits for it but you know it's got a little angle on it and uh, I thought this one was pretty cool so this is what comes in the packing and uh, you know typical Lyle stuff you know just metal got a little handle on it and all that stuff this is the abrasive pad you know when you're done with it or you know it's all used up pretty much change it out put the new one on there it's got the soft on this part and then you know the the plastic on this and just wrap it around and then you can scrape the into those gaskets and all that clean those surfaces got some more pliers for the plier drawer just standard plastic clip uh, remover pliers part number on that one and you can see it's got the little uh, groove cut out for those smaller uh, you know body clips that are always a pain in the butt to deal with you can never have too many pliers you can never have too many tools I don't care what people say you know I use these tools to make my life easier um, you know for me for me at least you know getting these tools it's it's my shops paying for most of them you know it's not like I pay for these tools I some of this stuff yeah I may or may not need but it does make my job easier um, axle axle clamp pliers I do have a couple different styles of this but if you guys notice on some of those axles it takes different ways Part number 30950, kind of like this one. It's a lot smaller than the one I usually use, um, but it's for those little band ones. I don't know if I have. Yeah, small tool, but they work for pretty much these bands. You know, you'd, you'd pretty much, you know, get it down in there, wrap it around the axle, get it down in there, tighten it up, you know, tight, tighten it through there, get it nice and tight, and, uh, you know, slide it off. This, this would obviously hold on here so it holds tension and all that stuff but pretty cool little tool you know and if you're re rebuilding CV axles or you know taking them things apart and services them or anything like that these ones are the way to go you know it's an easy way to get that boot tight on there better than a better than a zip tie I've seen on some of these cars I don't know what people are thinking sometimes so pretty cool tool like I said part number on that one I'll try to leave part numbers down in the description for everything a couple of the older tools like I said Lyle supports those older cars a lot of these tools some of them bent out I don't have them uh, part number three four nine hundred uh, the central wrench for the late model GM's I want to say and the uh, Duramax and all that stuff um, but yeah it makes it easier to uh, get that filter off you know for the water separator so cool little tool in that it is metal obviously got the Lyle handle on there a couple other things we picked up here just basically giving you guys part numbers uh, another old one another GM tool uh, spring retainer for the uh, the locks and the panel to get the uh, lock out of there pop the lock through there and all that stuff instead of using a screwdriver or a long pick this one uh, it's a tool for it so makes your job easier there's a part number on that one another pretty cheap one I picked up makes your life easier uh, those quick those heater core hoses on those you know Ford fusions and the uh, I think the older focuses use them and all that stuff uh, disconnect tool for it you know around here a lot of those hoses are corroded you know so if you're using misusing it or using the wrong tool you, you will you will break it it will leak so pick this up make it a little easier it kind of just slides in there helps you disconnect another one I got this one I know comes in a uh, the Lyle master disconnect tool set but I lost this piece to it so picked up another tool kind of a replacement uh, 35000 for the uh, the fuel lines you know you push in those quick to disconnect GM disconnects for those fuel filters and all that stuff 
pretty much pop that on there. This tool is used to pry. You could also use this tool on a screwdriver. That's what I've been doing, but pick this one up to complete my uh, kit, my master kit again, which uh, this one looks a little bit thicker than the one that came in the kit, but another easy tool to make your life easier. And then uh, a couple other things, a couple other things. I guess we'll just run through the rest of this stuff. Um, glow plug puller, lost the other one I had, but you know, pretty much just hook and pull. You guys, you guys work on those diesels, you know how this thing works. Um, I also use this to take the plug off certain things too, but that one pretty cheap, part number 37370. And the last one I got, part number 35200. More pliers. Um, this one's for those, uh, you know, those retaining clips that hold in, you know, those older style crank windows or, you know, pretty much anything you could use it for to, uh, you know, unclip it. I use uh, different means of getting those crank handles off. I got another tool for that, but these were pretty slim. And, uh, you know, I can't call these the greatest made, but the ones I do use that I do have made by Lyle, they do work. But these are, you know, pretty slim. You use these for the, you know, the little metal clips behind the crank up windows or the clips that hold on uh, logos or the body panels and things like that. You know, they're pretty slim. You could get behind things, get them unclipped. Um, you could probably even use them for the little Jesus clips that, uh, you know, come for the radiator and stuff like that. You know, get in there, pry them out. Uh, how, however, however you use them. I, like I said, I like them. You know, they don't look like they're the best built. They're some of the slim ones, but I've used these slim players, you know, the different styles with the body clips and all that, pretty slim ones, relay pullers that are just like this and they've held up. So, you know, you don't misuse the tool. Hopefully this will last me, but for what it is, super cheap, cool tool made by Lyle. You can't go wrong. All right, guys, so wrapping this one out, pretty much showed you everything I picked up through Lyle. Just make it quick. You know, I'll leave part numbers down in the description if some of these tools you think you may need or may not need or want to check out. Most of them are cheap. You know, I, even all of them, I, obviously I got these tools at different times, but you know, what is it? What is it? Maybe $30 worth of tools, $40 worth of tools. I think the bigger ones were the, uh, the, the belt tool, which, you know, there's other brands and, and other companies to use, but th I like this style one, especially with those in those on those tighter areas on some of those cars and then I think the clutch alignment or the clutch pilot bearing tool was probably two of the most expensive ones all the other ones were maybe under 10 bucks so you can even title this video Lyle tools under ten dollars but quick pick up through Lyle you know snap on is not the only tools I buy I have tools from almost every brand manufacturer so you know it is what it is I buy the tool that I use to get the job done um, you know it's not only about snap on it, especially recently you know it is what it is but like i said you guys any of your favorite lyle tools please leave the part number down in the description for me and anybody else watching the video i know there's lyle tools out there that i probably haven't even seen i know nothing about it's not like i'm reading their catalogs every day yes i follow them on instagram and some of their social medias but you know i'm not studying them and things like that but when i find a tool that can make my life easier be more efficient all that stuff you damn right I'm going to go ahead and jump on it and pick it up. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we will check you in the next one. Signing out.